Hey there, we are gonna work out for 15 minutes together, upper body and core, that's it. Now, you can get a lightweight or a water bottle. I promise you will feel it no matter what. Okay, and you need a chair or I'm sitting on a footrest, either one of those is gonna be fine. Let's get going. We're gonna start with tricep dips. Tricep dips. I always hear women, they don't want their arms to wave away in the wind. These are one of the best things you can do. However, it's all about your form. If you're out here, that's gonna put your shoulders at a little bit of a bad angle, actually a lot. You wanna be a nice and close to the surface. So your butt is almost kissing the chair or whatever you're going against. Now, how far down you go is totally up to you. You can go a little bit, you can go a lot, but what you can't do is just sit and watch or stop. You gotta keep going. We're not gonna do more than probably eight or 10 reps on each exercise. Let's go two more like that. One more. Come on up, shake it out. See, when you move farther away, it's easier. We're not going for easy. We're working for 15 minutes together. So let's make all that time count. Now, push-ups, everybody's favorite. Please don't do this. Whenever you do a push-up, I want your head, neck, and spine in a straight line literally on your chair, on your couch, you can go on the floor. I want you to keep your elbows tucked in, focusing on the triceps today. You're gonna be looking about a foot in front of you, you're coming down and coming up. Ideally, your chest comes to wherever you are. If you're doing push-ups in the kitchen, your chest would hit the counter, fine. Right here, my chest is about coming down to my foot rest, but see how my body's in a straight line? you always want to stay in a nice straight line. Let's go four more. I know these are not easy. Here's three. Here's two. One more. Oh, and please breathe. When your body wants to do this, breathe. Those muscles need the oxygen. Okay. Ready? Going back for tricep dips one more time. Keep that body nice and close. Here we go. If these are very easy, you can straighten out your legs. I still wanna be able to talk, so I'm keeping my knees bent. Four more like that. Here's three. Here's two, last one. Okay, push-up time, everybody's favorite. You ready? Last set of push-ups. Here we go, I want you to breathe out on the way up. Here we go, down, breathe out down four more just like that yes you can three two one now let's pull if you're on a foot rest let's pull that out if not I want you on the ground because we are going kayaking what grab your water bottle or that weight I want your shoulders back and away. Not up here, back and away. I'll actually turn to the side so we can see. So you don't be like this. And we in perfect posture, we're gonna lean back, heels on the ground, we're kayaking. What does this do? Oh, this is core-tastic. Oh my gosh. Your head is following your hands and you are rowing through really thick, treacherous chocolate chip cookie batter. We got four more like that on each side. Come on. Here's three. Here's two. One more. Now come to the center. Bring one knee up. Bring both knees up. How does that feel? Keep that back straight. Keep your water bottle on your knees. Extend one leg and come on up. Oh, hey there. How you doing? How you feeling? If this is not challenging, come up like this. If that is too much, stay right here. Please know what you're capable of. We're almost at the end, just one more. Oh my gosh, bring everything down. Whew. Let's go kayaking again. Straight back, lean back, row, row. Now, if this is easy, if you need more, you can bring, oh, I'm sorry, heels on the ground. You can bring one foot up or both feet up. I actually feel this 
a ton in my core just doing this, but please, if you need more, go there. Remember, head follows that water bottle. We have four more right here. Here's four, come on, three, here's two, and one. Oh my gosh, come up, shake it out. The fun one, one more time. Let's just hang out here, no, straight back. One leg comes out. How's that feel? If that's too much, stay here. Maybe every third one. Oh, that was so shaky. One more. All right, that's it for that one. I know that was really hard, sorry. Not. I want to get everybody in plank position. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be in plank and we're gonna do a row with your water bottle or weight. It's really core, shoulder, not so much how heavy this is, although you can get a heavy weight if you want. Come up to core, or core, come up to plank first. Now, with that left hand under that shoulder, water bottle in that right hand, row, bring it down, row. See how my body is not moving, just my arm. That's what I want you to do. And breathe out. Here's two, one, let's switch sides. Here we go. Up, breathe. Come on, please don't hold that breath. We have four more. Three, two. Oh my gosh, we're gonna keep going because we can. How, how you doing, core? This is such an amazing core exercise, even with just my water bottle. Two, one, last one right here. Here we go. Up and breathe. Come on. Last four right here because we can. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go to side plank now, moving us out of the way. Side plank, I'm gonna be on my elbow. If you would like to be on your wrist, totally fine. See how my shoulder is above my elbow? I want that same thing. I don't want you collapsed in and I don't want you collapsed out. Straight line. Now my shoulder, hip, and knee is in a straight line as well. Okay, ready? <sighs> Lift everything up. Drop, drop, up, bring it up. Now those hips are gonna wanna go towards the carpet. Oh no, no, you're staying nice and high. So we get shoulder, we get oblique. Oh, I love when exercises work more than one part. Let's just go a few hundred more. No. Two more right here. Here's two. One more. Hold it up, hold it up. Now drop those hips just for four, three, yes. Two, one. Ah, oh, awesome. We get to change sides. And don't forget, one side of your body is always gonna be excuse me, stronger than the other. So if you feel like, oh, this isn't as strong, totally normal. I got to kind of mush in here. Okay, not collapsing. Look down, shoulder to elbow should be a nice straight line. Lift those hips up, breathe. Here we go, down, bring it down. Of course, if you do have a medium or light weight, that's gonna be extra work. Awesome for you, breathe but the water bottle gives you plenty of range of motion, which is all that I want. Bring it down. Let's just go two more like that, two more. One more right here. Hold it up, now drop those hips. Four, come on. Three, two, one. Hold it up, hold it up, but not your breath. Two and one, whoo! You're doing awesome. Let's do that again one more time because we can. It's all about perfect form, my friends. Please get set up in perfect form. Shoulder, elbow, nice straight line. Here's your hand, ready? Bring it down, up. I want you to actively lift those hips up. Now your top leg can be straight or both legs can be straight. 
totally up to you and how you're feeling, how your energy is today. Four more like that. Come on. You got it. Three. Don't you love the plank? Two. One more right here. Hold it up. Hold it up. Drop those hips for four right here. Four. Three. Because you can. Two. One. And release. I'm glad that side's over. Let's flip it around. Almost there. Okay, check that form. Good, good, lift it up. Here we go. Down, bring it down, up, bring it down. Breathe for me, come on. Actively keep those hips up. They want to drop, they want to do easier work. Uh-uh, if I have you for 15 minutes, we're doing as much work as we can. Hold it up, now drop those hips. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up, I want you to shake it out. How are you feeling, hanging in there? Yes, you are. Okay, actually, let's get back. I'm gonna be back on our backs. This is one of my favorite of all time core exercises. Bottle weight to your legs. Now, friends, if your back hurts, please drop one foot, leave it on the ground. If not, we're gonna extend and bring it in. Anytime you lengthen your levers, it makes it harder. You can also angle your feet more up towards the ceiling. That'll give your back a break. If it's easy, angle it more down towards the ground. That's gonna make it a little bit harder. Let's go four more like that. Here's three. Come on, hang in there. Here's two. We're gonna hold this one out because we can. Hold it out, hold it out, hold it out. Four, three, two, and one. Put that down, give yourself a hug. Hey, I forgot to say this and I'm so sorry. Anytime you're on the ground, Head stays on the ground. Please don't ever look up. That can put a strain on your neck and I don't ever, 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 ever want you to do that. Next one, a little similar. Straight arms and straight legs. Down, bring it down, up. I gotta scoot over a little bit. Down, bring it down. Hey, how are those core muscles feeling? Oh. So you really don't even need any weight, just your own body weight, the range of motion on this one. Whew, fantastic. Let's go three more like that. Here's three, come on, come on, come on. Here's two. Here's one more. Let's go right to the other one. These are the grand finale right here. Remember if that back hurts, please leave one foot on the ground. Head always, always stays on the ground. Don't look up. Think about pressing out with your heels. We have four more like that. Here's three. Here's two. Here's one straight arm, straight leg. Here we go. Down, let's go super slowly. Just like the first one, if you feel any kind of pressure in your back, you can put one foot on the ground or you can leave one leg in the air and that will take all the pressure off your back. Do what is best for your body, please. And don't forget to breathe, especially on the core ones. Your, your mouth is gonna wanna purse shut. Uh-uh, keep breathing. We have three more like that. Here is three, because we can. Here's two, one more. And bring that in. Give yourself a great big hug here, please. Sorry, give yourself a great big hug for a job well done. That's gotta feel good on your core and just kind of roll side to side, in fact, Bring those knees to one side. That's gonna be a great stretch for that core that just works so hard for really every exercise we did worked the core. 
And the core is going, thank you so much. <sighs> now bring that over and twist to the other side. Try to keep your shoulders down. Same thing goes for your flexibility. One side is gonna be more flexible than the other. You might be able to drop your knees all the way over on one side, not the other. Normal, normal, normal. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today for 15 minutes of fun. I hope you feel amazing and strong in your own body. I take requests. You can email me at pam at theperfectbalance.guru. Please subscribe to my channel. I love having new subscribers. I want to help you on your health and wellness journey. Have an amazing day.